Hey there, and welcome to Noctis on YouTube. To transport heavy machinery and newly manufactured vehicles from the factory, including cars, a special ship called a Roro, Roland's roll-off ship, is usually used. This type of transport vessel is capable of carrying hundreds to thousands of cars in one trip. Here's a brief overview of the loading and unloading process on a Roro ship. A Roro ship is designed with several decks that are used to transport all types of vehicles. Unlike conventional cargo ships, Roro ships have a more complex design to accommodate the different types of vehicles. The cost of building a Roro ship is also higher compared to a conventional cargo ship. Additionally, the most striking design difference is in its ramp. The ramp is the side wall of the ship, and on a Roro ship, it is higher than that of a conventional cargo ship. The Roro ship has a movable ramp that can be raised and lowered for vehicle access, much like a bridge. This feature allows for easy loading and unloading of vehicles, making it an ideal choice for transporting large quantities of cars and heavy machinery. Inside a Roro ship, there is also a built-in ramp that can be adjusted to the required height. There are also several types of Roro ships, including the Conro, which is a combination of a container ship and a Roro ship. These ships typically use the lower deck for vehicle storage and the upper deck for stacking containers. Another type is the Ropax which is used for the transport of wheeled cargo, but also has passenger accommodation on board. One of the largest Roro ships is produced by HOEG Autoliners, which can carry more than 6,900 standard-sized cars. This ship has a total parking deck area of 60,000 square meters, which is equivalent to 10 football fields. In addition to cars, this ship can also carry various types of vehicles such as trucks, heavy machinery, agricultural equipment, construction equipment, and mining machinery. During the loading and unloading process, which involves very large cargo, Hoag Auto Liners has developed special roll trailers that can adjust to accommodate the cargo. For very long cargo, such as trains, Hoag Auto Liners has also created a concept of roll trailers with an extended length. For loading and unloading cargo with very high dimensions, Hoag Auto Liners has also developed roll trailers with a very low deck height of only around 47 centimeters. One of the largest loading and unloading ports in Northern Europe is the Copenhagen Malmo port. This port is located in two locations, namely the port of Copenhagen in Denmark and the port in Malmo in Sweden. Since collaborating with Toyota in 2003, this port has grown rapidly, with an annual handling capacity of up to 400,000 vehicles from 15 different manufacturers. Many car manufacturers collaborate with the Copenhagen Malmo port because of its distribution center, which allows for direct distribution of vehicles from the port to retailers or dealers. This makes the logistics process more efficient and cost-effective for car manufacturers. It is interesting to note that the statistical figures for vehicle damage during the loading and unloading process are also very minimal. Out of 100,000 vehicles, only three vehicles are reported to have been damaged during the process. This shows that the Copenhagen Malmo port has an excellent record in ensuring the safe and secure handling of vehicles during the loading and unloading process. To send a car or any other vehicle from the factory to a Roro ship, there are several processes that need to be followed. Newly produced cars are sent to the vehicle terminal at the port either by train or car carrier. 
Upon arrival at the port, the cars are then parked according to their destination, and the keys are already installed inside the cars. Next, the ship will lower its door, which is a watertight door, and functions as a bridge. Then, the prepared driver will drive the parked car into the ship and head to the deck according to the cargo plan. The cargo plan is a plan for arranging the vehicle load in order to maintain the stability of the ship, and each loaded car has a unique number that is placed on the car's window. During the loading process, there are also signalmen who monitor all car traffic to ensure safe and smooth loading and unloading. Usually, heavy cargo types are placed on the deck at the stern of the ship for easier unloading. After the vehicles are parked on the ship's deck, the lashing process will be carried out to secure the cargo inside. Lashing is done to prevent the cargo from moving during the journey. To secure the cars on the ship, a strap with a ratchet can be used, and the tie-down is attached to the lash bot located on the deck floor. For heavy vehicles, chain lashing is used, which is a tie-down made of iron chains. When all cars are securely tied down, an inspection is carried out by officers from the car manufacturing company. In addition, an inspection is also conducted to ensure that all cars are tied down properly and to check for any leaks. After the inspection is completed, the Roro ship can depart to its designated location. When the Roro ship arrives at the destination port, the unloading process begins. In this process, the lashing officers will remove the tie-downs and the cars will be taken to the inspection area for further examination to check for any damages. After inspection, the new cars will be given final touches according to the customer's order, and then they will be shipped to the designated showrooms. Apart from using a Roro ship, a regular cargo ship can also be used in the loading and unloading process of cars. In this process, the cars will be placed in containers first, and then the containers will be transported to the cargo ship. To load the vehicles into the container, they use a system called Irax, which is a specially designed rack with pulleys inside the container. By using this system, they do not need a forklift to load the cars into the container. The process of loading the vehicles into the container is also relatively fast. The first car will enter the container and move towards the rack installed inside the container. Next, the car will be lifted up using a chain block on the rack manually by the workers. When finished, the second car will enter the container and be placed under the first car. Then, the process continues for the third and fourth cars using the same method as before. The use of this system in loading and unloading vehicles has proven to be more efficient than conventional methods. That's the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any of our new content. See you next time.